Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, This Life. My name is Jessica if you're new here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for coming back and I hope you enjoy this video today. Uh, this video today is going to be about our morning basket. Um, I probably don't do a morning basket like some do. I just kind of throw in what, um, okay, so let me backtrack. Last year, for the last school year, uh, we had a lot of books that we never really ever got to because by the time we were done with our school, with the um, math and language arts and that kind of stuff, I didn't want to sit down and read. I was just kind of tired. It just kept. I would keep putting it off, and then it would never get done. So this year, or last summer, I discovered the morning basket, and I wanted to incorporate it into our school morning. And it has been working out really well. I just wanted to go ahead and show what I have in my morning basket right now how just explain how it's working so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I have in this and explain as I go so this is our morning basket the basket I picked up at Ross it is actually kind of tattered you can see it's been destroyed by our chairs a little bit but for the meantime it's still working it holds what we need I don't have a whole I mean I don't I think some people have bigger morning baskets than what I have. I think this is a good amount of books. We don't read these every day. We cycle through them. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with the first book. The first book we are reading for history is Pilgrim Stories. We have actually just finished this book. Um, my daughter really loved it, but I'm almost thinking that we will read through it again since um, just for fun. We are kind of done with our history curriculum at the moment. We're putting it on a pause to get ready for testing. Um, that's a whole nother story. Just my daughter's in third grade. We are with the charter school, so she's required to do testing this year. So we're starting to prepare for that. So I just put this in here. If we do decide we want to read some of it one morning, we'll go ahead and read a chapter because my daughter did love this book so much. This next book is just a fun read. Emily, Emily Winsnap and the Castle in the Mist. Uh, we've read the first two Emily Winsnaps. My daughter loves these books and... I say that I'll, I usually don't put it in here and I say I'll read it at night with her and I don't so it's back in here in hopes that we can actually get um, some more reading of it, more, more of it read. Next two items are more for my three year old. Um, I have alphabet flashcards. Sometimes we will just go ahead and pull these out and work on these with her, um, myself or my husband during morning basket time or just in the morning. And then um, practicing good manners flashcards. I actually haven't used these yet. I do have them in here and I will be starting them this next week um, just because I have made a new um, list of morning basket ideas for the week. Um, we have manners, 50 fun etiquette lessons for kids and their families. So I, I enjoy this book. I think it's cute. Um, my daughter doesn't really care for it so it hasn't been picked up too much lately but I am gonna pick it up again. It's in our rotation for this next coming week. And this next one is Where the Sidewalk Ends, just some fun little poems, just funny, silly, really weird poems. My girls love this book and we are just about done with it. We've been reading it all, rotating through it throughout the whole year and we're almost finished with that. The first book we do start our morning with is The Ology. I love this for our Bible, um, just kind of like a Bible curriculum, just to learn more about the Bible and... Um, my daughter enjoys it. I think it's very, very well written. I do love this book. And I'm going to go ahead and link all of the books down below if you're interested in any of these. Um, just click that link and I'll quickly take you to um, probably Amazon to find where I got most of these books. This next book I actually got from the library, but I think I'm actually going to buy it and have it, in our, have it in our collection because I love it so much. It's the Julie Andrews Treasury for All Sam. Treasury for All Seasons, excuse me, poems and songs to celebrate the year. So um, right now we're reading, we just got this book and we're, we've been reading the poems for March and a little bit for spring. They have spring poems, but they do have just March and a lot of it was St. Patrick's. And so we've been reading this a little bit. Um, I think it's really cute and I do want to have this for our collection. So I think when I can't renew this one anymore, I will probably end up buying this. I think it's a very cute book. I'm going to show some of the flashcards we have in here. We'll sometimes do this in morning baskets. Sometimes we just save it for when we're actually doing um, uh, doing the subject later on in the day. So the first one is states and capitals flashcards. 
cards. I actually do have a second set which I will be pulling out soon um, just for to change it up a bit but we are studying the United States this year and all the states and the capitals and she's memorizing them so we'll go through the flashcards and um, see that she is remembering all those capitals. The next one is Osborne Famous Paintings. These are um, just flashcards of some famous paintings and so we'll go through them and talk about I think you can see on the back here we'll talk about um, the different paintings and who painted them when it was it painted just some fun facts about them so I like these as well these are from Osborne which I really love Osborne uh, last bit of flashcards I have in here I got these from the Dollar Tree they're Get Fit Kit Jr. so you can see on the back they are little flashcards of activities to do. So sometimes if the girls are getting antsy, I will pull these out and just have them do a couple little exercises. Um, I do have the Get Fit, just I think this one's for adults. I have not opened this one up yet, but I think I can do this one eventually with my eight year old as well. So these are cute, both from the Dollar Tree. I bought them quite a few months ago, so I'm not sure if they'll have them anymore. All right last few books these we rotate through um this one we would just read when the girls want it it's called the gruffalo it's just a cute little picture book um this one i pulled out last month and the girls have really liked it and have asked me to read it here and there so i keep it in here in case they want a fun little short story read next book is a child's book of character building um this one is a little bit I think I feel like it's a little bit young for my eight-year-old but I have it in here for when my three-year-old is in here and we want to add something in for her um, she is sitting longer and longer with us during morning basket so it's fun to kind of think of some fun things for her to do um, back with some more art 13 paintings children should know I love this book I'll pull this out once in a while and we'll just um, especially I'll incorporate these two together like Mona Lisa we did the flashcard and then we'll talk about the painting because this has a little bit more in depth um, just uh, details about certain paintings so um, this one has been a fun book I really like this one my America a poetry atlas of the United States so again since we are studying the United States this year this book has been kind of fun to um, when we're studying certain states for the week we will go through here and read a couple of the poems that are related to that area or the state specifically so this has been a fun book um, I will try and find this one this one I actually borrowed from our lending library through our charter school so I do have to turn this one back in eventually um, but I think it's a good find if if I find this somewhere at a thrift store I will go ahead and buy that the last book I have is a child's garden of verses by Robert Louis Stevenson so this is just another book of poems. We have really been exploring poems this year. I have a lot of poem books. And then I went ahead and laminated I have the Pledge of Allegiance. So we will focus on that once in a while. And the Psalms 23. So um, we have these. These are just certain things we'll pull out and rotate between just so they memorize them. I do want to print out um, John 3.16 and start memorizing that one. So that's all I have in our morning basket. It's a lot of poetry. Um, I mean, we have our poetry, we have our manners, geography, um, just some fun reading, some history, and some alphabet for my daughter. Oh, and art. So I think it's pretty well-rounded. Um, this is just what I wanna focus on in our morning basket, and it works really well for us. Again, I will go ahead and find the links for most of these and post it down below. So yes, that's all I have. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and like to see other homeschool type videos or hauls, I do like to do hauls, um, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. So again, that's all I have. Thank you again for watching and you all have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.